Welcome back to Honey's Adventures in Siberia. Finally, we're back. I think we're going to have to cross to the other side through the train. But let's see if we can get any closer. There might be something over here we have to activate. Nope. Alright, we'll go through the train to the other side of the tracks and gain access to the winding machine. I really can't think of any loose ends now. We do have a few things in our inventory left over, but they could be used in the next area for all we know. Here we are. Pull the lever, open it up. Hello? Where are you? <laughs> Hi, Dan. I'm in Barakstadt. Balak what? Is that a town? I hope the man you're looking for lives there. Are you coming home soon? From what I gather, it's one huge university with an extraordinary station aviary. If you could only see it, there are trees and birds everywhere. It's so weird here. Sounds like a great place for a bit of sightseeing. So, are you coming back soon? I don't think so. In fact, the train I'm traveling on has some kind of a mechanical problem. We've been forced to stop here. Us? I thought you were alone. Who's with you? Oscar, the train engineer. You're messing around with mechanics now, are you? Don't be so stupid, Dan, please. Oscar is an automaton created by Mr. Varlberg, the man I'm looking for. And he's not any old robot. He's a sophisticated butler type, if you see what I mean. He's a bit obsessive as well. I don't know what they're feeding you in Europe, but don't you think it's time that you came home? But my mission still isn't finished. To hell with your mission. I don't know why you accepted it in the first place. If you just stuck to the middle of the road, then we wouldn't be in this mess. We? If there's any mess, it's me who's in it. And while I'm trying to come to grips with strange towns, you, my darling, are sitting at home on your butt. I seem to remember we had nothing against my departure. It was only going to be two or three days, Kate. Please, try to put yourself in my shoes. Your shoes. Not only do I have to fit myself into your diary, but I've got to get myself into your shoes as well? Is there anywhere else Sir would like me to put myself while we're on the subject? Look, I don't want to talk about it now. Call me back when you've calmed down. I was perfectly calm before I picked up your call. I only wanted a few words of encouragement, not your disdain. Was that too much to ask? You can be such a selfish... Takes one to know one, sweetheart. Well, that is definitely not going well. Dan doesn't understand why she can't come home. She doesn't 
really understand why he doesn't understand and all the way around let's leave this university and see what's next everything okay yes Kate Walker I am waiting to continue our journey Speaking of mechanical problems, there aren't any other hitches I should know about, Oscar? This train has no mechanical problems, Kate Walker. Winding the spring mechanism is standard service procedure. Okay, okay, Oscar. Don't get all touchy about it. I didn't mean it like that. All right, so let's go. That's it, Oscar. We can go. Kate Walker, I must remind you of one of the journey regulations. All objects featured in the train's inventory must be replaced before departure. I don't understand. Something is missing, Kate Walker. Oh my god! The mammoth doll! Please return it to its allocated position, Kate Walker. I need I'm that. off, Oscar. See you later. Yes, Kate Walker. I even said we better put that mammoth doll back or he won't go. And then I forgot about it on a long trip here and Dan's phone call there now let's go everything okay yes Kate Walker I am waiting to continue our journey Oscar if you tell me one more time something's missing, I'll... Everything is ready. Take your seat, Kate Walker. We are leaving. I'll... Okay... So, off to land unknown. We are leaving. Goodbye, university. Hello, new place. That was a short trip. I guess we have to get in the wall now. Get them to open open the wall. What are you doing there, Oscar? <laughs> it is imperative that we comply with railroad and customs regulations, Kate Walker. Oscar, don't you think we could drop the trifling details once and for all? We need an exit visa to get beyond the wall, Kate Walker. <sighs> and you wouldn't know where I could get one of them from, would you? There is usually some form of authority stationed at a guard post that is strategically positioned to issue such a visa. Oh, well, he won't want to talk about birds anymore. Oscar, don't you think we've wasted enough time already? You neglected to find the clockwork winding mechanism for the train with sufficient haste, Kate Walker. What nerve! And you refused to lend a helping hand. Help that could have been invaluable to me. I agree, Kate Walker. If you weren't so obsessed by procedure, we wouldn't have had a hitch. I am not entirely convinced, Kate Walker. Oscar, please, let's get in the train and leave, can we? Yes, Kate Walker. Give me the visa. <laughs> All right, well, one more thing and then we'll leave and look around. I don't suppose you can help me get this visa then? Your non-supposition is correct, Kate Walker. All right, he cannot help us then. Well, let's look around see what we can see. Okay, see you later, Oscar. Yes, Kate Walker. So, there's usually an official in a nearby guard tower 
to issue said visas. Let's see what we can see. I wonder how that works. That looks like a Vorlberg key, which we no longer have. What we do have is the eyesight powder stuff and a bottle of wine. I wonder how that works. Have to probably go on the other side, I'm thinking. See if we can find a a door. Actually, while we're on this side, can I go behind here? Aha! No point. It's locked. Oscar, don't want us in there. But that looks like a door, too. Okay. Hello? Kate! Oh, is that you? What's going on? Well, I finally got the mechanical train wound, and I hope it's going to take me to Hans Varlberg. I had to sort things out with a couple of weirdo sailors, and they probably ripped me off. But now I'm blocked behind this massive wall. You should see it. It's huge. I'm not talking about that. I want to know what's going on with Dan. What do you mean? I bumped into him at Maggie's do, and he said you'd argue. That's a bit over the top. Things got a bit heated the last time we called, that's all. No need to go overboard. I don't mean to be Miss Melodramatic, but he didn't seem in such great shape. He had his down in the dumps head on. <laughs> like Dan has a down in the dumps head. Well, yeah, when that shock of hair flops over his forehead and his eyes mist up and his eyebrows kind of creased together. I'd never noticed. Maybe I did go a bit too far, but he's got such a goody two-shoes image of me that sometimes I just lose it. And this case is taking up a lot of headspace. I was just looking for a bit of compassion. Well, you sure got mine. So, what's going down? Like I said before, I'm kind of getting somewhere, but it's slow. This Hans Vorlberg guy is getting more and more fascinating by the day. Okay, well, anyway, it doesn't sound like you're bored. Not like back here in the office. Every day is boredom day. It's just no fun without you. When are you coming back? Shouldn't be long, I hope. Look, I've got to go. See you soon. Well, call us again real soon. And be easier on Dan next time, huh? I'll try. Well, that was an interesting conversation. She's got some... lovey-dovey details about no Dan. Point. It's locked. His cute hair falls over and he makes that face. And yeah, I definitely say that the phone call qualifies as an argument. Let's see. This is very interesting. Hello, are you an official who's going to give me a visa? Going to take a quick break. Hope you watch the next part because the adventure will continue. See ya!